Hello friends, welcome to today's operating system class. And in this class, we will start our first unit, operating system, overview, system structure. Right? And in today's class, we will see what is operating system and what are the layers of operating system that is actually the layers of computer system and the operating system which are available in the market and user's point of view and system point of view of the computer and the operating system. Apart from that, we are going to see what is kernel, system program, application program and the middleware. So these are the topics we are going to see in today's class. So before entering into today's class, let us see the content which are available in the first unit. Okay. So the title of first unit is operating system overview and system structures. So here in operating system overview, we are having introduction and this is what we are going to see in today's class. After that operating system functions and operating system operations, computing environment, open source operating systems. So these are uh, will come under the first chapter of textbook operating system overview and the system structure here operating system services, users and operating system interfaces, system calls, types of system calls, system programs, operating system design and implementation operating system structure, operating system debugging and system boot. So these are the topics will come under system structure. First let us see what is operating system. It is otherwise called as OS. OS contains a collection of programs which are used to control the hardware as well as software which are installed on the computer. So operating system is a set of programs which controls the hardware, hardware means the physical components, physical components and the software, software is nothing but the application software, application software. So it is used to control both the hardware as well as software. Here OS will provide an environment to the user, okay, for what this environment is used to, to execute the user application programs. Okay, so without operating system, the execution of application program is somewhat difficult to the user. So it will provide a very good environment to the user to execute their application programs. And OS will act as an interface between user as well as the computer hardware. Okay, so this is user and computer hardware and this is computer hardware. computer hardware okay so the os will act as an interface without os accessing the computer hardware is somewhat difficult to the user okay so it will act as an interface between user as well as the computer hardware okay what is the purpose of computer uh, operating system the operating system is nothing but a set of programs which is used to control the computer hardware for this user. Next let us see the layers of computer system. Okay, here we are having four different layers. First one is computer hardware, second operating system and third one is system programs as well as the application program and the last layer is user layer, the end user layer. Here the first layer is computer hardware layer, computer hardware which are the computer hardware CPU, memory, I/O devices, and other devices. That is all the bare metals which are connected to the computer are called as computer hardware. And on the top of computer hardware, we have the operating system. Okay, we are having varieties of operating system based on our requirement. We can install the required operating system. So on the top of operating system only, we are having the application program. So here we are having two types of program, first one is system program and second one is application program. Okay, System programs are used to execute only the system components and system calls and application programs are installed by the user based on the user requirement we can install our required application programs. Okay, So here we are having different types of application program, first one is spreadsheet and databases 
internet and all the games etc okay so based on the user requirement we can install any application program which supports the operating system and these application programs will be used by the end user okay so the operating system will be lies between the computer hardware and the application program so it will act as an interface between the hardware and application program in the layers of computer system we are having four layers just now we have seen the first one is hardware the hardware layer which provides the basic computing resources of the system system means computer okay here the basic computer resources are cpu memory io devices and etc that is the physical devices of the computer are called as hardware right and second one is operating system the operating system this is the second layer which is used to control and coordinate the use of hardware among various application programs for various users okay so the operating system will act as an important role in the computer system which is used to coordinate and control the use of hardware among various application programs for various users right and the third layer which is for application programs that defines the way in which the system resources are used to solve the computing problems okay for the users so this is application program so based on the users requirement we can install our own application program in the computer isn't it so this is the third layer and the last layer is for users here users are editing that may be a people machine or other computers okay the person which is used to, to utilize the computer are called as user okay we are having four layers in computer system first one is hardware operating system application program and users next let us see the different types of operating systems available in the market okay here you can see some of the operating system which are available currently in the market okay the most popular operating system is windows and for mobile application nowadays many people are using android uh, operating system apple is another popular operating system ubuntu is for open source and so many other operating systems are also available so based on the operating system we can classify that into technology ownership licensing working state usage and many other categories okay now we just see what are the different operating system available in the market and in our syllabus we will focus on the open source operating system so as we already seen the operating system will act as an interface between the computer hardware and the application program okay so without operating system we cannot install any application program in your computer system right okay here the operating system may be viewed by two different perspectives first one is users perspective and second one is systems perspective Now first let us see the users view of computer here many users are using laptop and personal computer that is pc the pc which consists of monitor keyboard and mouse see this is the diagram for this is pc and this is laptop okay so so pc which consists of mouse keyboard monitor and laptop also it is having its own keyboard this is the mouse pad and this is the monitor right okay here the systems are designed for single use because the pc and laptop are designed for a single user okay only one user can utilize this system at a time okay what is the goal of this single user system to maximize the work to maximize the work that the user is performing right okay in this case os is designed mostly for ease of use that is user friendly operating system okay the os which are installed in pc or laptop are mostly the user friendly operating system 
with some attention paid to performance that is the per increased performance of the computer and security they are giving more attention to the performance as well as security but they never consider about the resource utilization because the entire resources will be given to only a single user or only a single program which is being running currently okay so no need to give more attention for resource utilization that is how various hardware and software resources are shared between each other okay so a user's point of view here we are having laptop and pc computer which are having the monitor keyboard and mouse separately right the next the user are using the mobile devices okay here the mobile devices are smartphone this is the smartphone and this is the tablet okay this one is tablet okay here these devices are connected to network that is internet internet through cellular or other wireless technologies okay this these are not the fixed system these are mobile devices okay so the system will be connected to internet through any wireless technologies here the computer mobile computers generally features touch screen okay so there is no separate keyboard there is no separate keyboard because the screen itself will will interact the system by pressing or swiping fingers across the screen rather than using the physical keyboard and the mouse okay by touching the screen we can execute the programs and we can do anything there is no need of separate keyboard and mouse here right many mobile devices allows user to interact through the voice recognition interface also so through voice also we can command the computer and the program corresponding program being executed okay so mobile devices there is no separate uh, keyboard mouse for this mobile devices by using a touch screen we can control the entire system and next let us see the operating system from computer's point of view from computer's point of view the operating system will act as the resource allocator resource controller and resource manager okay let us see all these things one by one first one is resource allocator okay what is mean by resources every computer are having its own set of resources the resources are like cpu memory storage io devices and so on okay so these are all called as computer resources and the operating system must decide how to allocate resources to specific program or a specific user based on their requirement and it can operate the computer system efficiently and fairly okay to operate the computer system efficiently and fairly the operating system must decide how to allocate the resources to the specific program or the user hence it is called as resource allocator and it is the responsible for operating system to control various resources like io devices and the user program to avoid conflicts in resource request that is if we want to run any application program it request some resources hence it will give request to the operating system okay so it is responsible for operating system to control various resources hence it is called as resource controller right and next one the control program manages the operations and control of io devices and execution of user program to prevent errors and improper use of computer okay so this is also the response for operating system to prevent errors and improper use of computer hence this operating system is called as resource manager so from computer's point of view the operating system will act as resource allocator resource controller and resource manager and now let us see some of the program which are associated with operating system first one is kernel system program application program and the middleware first let us see what is kernel kernel is a central and core component of operating system which is manages the operations of computer and the hardware which are the hardware 
especially the CPU and memory. Okay, because kernel is responsible for resource allocation, resource control, and resource management. Okay, so kernel will act as a bridge between applications and hardware because it allocates the hardware resources to the application. And normally, a program which always runs in the computer is called as kernel. The next one is system program. System programs are designed to run a computer's hardware and the application program. Hence, the system program will lies between hardware and application program. See, this is application program and this is computer hardware. The system software or system program will lies between computer hardware and the application program. And these programs are associated with the operating system. Okay, the system software will associated with the operating system, but not part of kernel. Okay, so, so system programs are different from kernel. And next let us see the application programs. And these programs are used to give solution for a specific problem. Okay, the problems like a personal problem, educational problem, business problem, or financial problem, whatever it may be, for a specific pro problem, the program is being created is called as application program. Each application is designed to assist end users doing a variety of tasks which may be related to productivity, creativity and communication. So this is called as application program. The next one is middleware. Middleware is also a computer software which lies between application program as well as the operating system. Okay, here. This is the application program and this is the operating system. Hence, the middleware will lies between application program and operating system. Right? So, it provides a service to software applications beyond those which are available in the operating system. Okay? So, operating system is used to give service to the application programs. But, some of the services will be provided by the middleware, not by the operating system. Okay? Up to this, we have seen the introduction of operating system and in this class, we have seen what is operating system, layers of the computer system, operating system available in the market, user's point of view and system point of view of the operating system. After that, we have seen the kernel, system program, application program and middleware. And the next class, we will see another important topic from operating system. Thank you.